Sure. That was a uh, eco mode gas saver. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, he's... Hey, I'll get the net, okay? No, no, you're fine. I, I felt him. He was good. You keep Should we keep Yeah. yeah. There's a board out there if you want to measure, but I ain't no doubt that. I was going to say, yeah, I'll measure real quick just for my own conscience. <laughs> I got my own. Should. Oh, maybe I left it. Oh, very good. Thank you. He's got a hole in his lip, too. Oh yeah, he's a uh, 14 actually. 14 inches. Yes, sir. Good, good. Uh, <laughs> that was the very first cast. Oh, Drag a Senko through the grass. Drag a Senko through the grass. You drag a Senko through the grass. All day. Oh, it's a good one. Yes! That's probably the... 20th cast to that, that pilot. You, 20th you. cast. I told you he was right there. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Look at that, right in the corner. <sighs> yes, sir. Yes, sir.
There's one. I just watched him eat it. Oh my god, I literally watched him eat it. He was underneath the log. Oh, 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 oh. He's in the current. I think he's a good keeper. I watched him flash at it. Yeah. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Yeah, he came out of right underneath the log. And I watched him flash at it, and I was like, no way. Oh, yes! Look how fat he is, too. Yeah, I believe so, too. Just with that stomach alone. Can't see it. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm trying to keep him out of the sticks. Oh, I can't. I can't see it. Yeah, there he is. He's coming out. Come on. Oh no. Oh, oh man, that was that was nerve wracking. Oh man. Oh man, that was close. You're like, did he get hung up? I was like, yeah. <sighs> yes, sir. Oh, it feels like a good one. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow him. Oh, he's coming up. Yes, it is. He's gonna come back up. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Nah, I just got heavy. I. Oh, he just ate it. Oh my God, I watched him come out of the tree after it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good job. That's the second one I watched eat it. I don't know if he's gonna be bigger than that one. Eh, maybe. Yeah, maybe he is. You think? shallow yeah he was i casted right i rolled it over top of a branch i watched him come out and go like this and just turn around on it i was like all right <laughs> that'll work. yeah that'll work for me but yes he was very shallow he came from the shallow i should say me. sorry <laughs> Coming in next out of Festerville, Pennsylvania, on our co worker side. He's got five bass today for us. It goes nine pounds, 15 ounces, eight spot right now for you, Alexander. Thanks, sir. Welcome back, everybody. It's Alex. So, that's a wrap for 2020. Um, we finished up the BFL Regional Championship on uh, the James River. Day one, um, which I'll show you, which you just saw, um, was a great day. I, I mean, I had zero complaints. A ton of fun, ton of fish, um, you know, crazy stuff was happening. Day two really didn't pan out the way I wanted it to. Um, we kind of ran the complete opposite way of what we did the first day. 
So I'm finished up editing that for day one. Uh, there's really no footage for day two. I only like called one keeper um, and dropped a ton of points or chopped a ton of spots, I should say. Uh, but overall, it was a ton of fun. So uh, after first day, I was in 13th spot. Uh, after second day, I didn't make it to the third day, which is the championship day, uh, which was top 12. Uh, I was in 64th, I believe, after day three. I guess it finalized. It was 64th. Uh, overall, in the Northeast Division, I was uh, 30th in 146 boats, I think, and uh, in the regional, 64th out of 168. So, as the first BFL season in the Northeast, I can't even describe to you how much I've learned um, over you know the you know the tournaments, whether it was on the Potomac, which I mean was a very tough fishery when we were there, or the Chesapeake, which also was really tough when I was there. Uh, from Cayuga when we took 7th or, you know, at the regional uh, at the 64th. So I got to fish with so many different people, so many different styles. Uh, I was picking up on so much stuff that they were doing that I couldn't even imagine or fathom, you know, to this day. Uh, but I obviously will remember everything that they had done or what they were doing, the techniques, uh, certain styles of flipping and skipping. Uh, it, it was just unimaginable. So if any of you are on the verge of even thinking about trying a BFL or joining the FLW, but now it's the big five on MLF, but you know, if any of you are trying to join that and think about it, it you know, it's, I can't even, you know, begin to describe to you that it's so worth it on so many levels of experience that it's, it's, I, I can't even begin to take away as much as I have this season as I have the, my entire life of fishing. So, um, in this video, you'll see uh, I was using a drop shot to begin with. Uh, we left the launch. You can actually, when I turn around, you can still see the boats waiting to launch. We only went about 50 yards to the first dock. And uh, we, I hooked up my first keeper. It was obviously a cold fi or a, a fish from previous tournament. Uh, it had cold tag you know, marks on it. And uh, I got that as a keeper on my drop shot. I ended up getting stuck with my drop shot and then switching to a uh, shaky head, which then produced the rest of my fish the rest of the day, other than a couple smaller fish on a, um, on a flipping setup. But they obviously did not make the cut into my box, but they, you know, I ended up with nine pounds, 15 ounces, as you can hear in the video. Um, but, you know, I'm super grateful for all the support I have from Sean and, you know, my parents and you know, everybody that's around me and obviously, you know, my two greatest supporters, Menace Bates, uh, for producing some great jigs and obviously Anglers Nation for always supporting me with, you know, stuff, whatever I need. So, um, if you ever need anything, go check both of those guys out. Uh, Lloyd over at Anglers Nation is awesome. And then, um, Anthony over at Menace Bates is also awesome. So if you guys need anything, you always reach out to me or reach out to them. So, um, this is 2020 signing off for the season. Uh, we just got the new schedule for 2021. It's going to be uh, first up in April is Chesapeake, and then right after is another Chesapeake. Can't wait for those. There's going to be some huge largemouth feeding then. Um, and then after that, we're going to go head up north to Champlain for some big old smallmouth, and then Cayuga for obviously, hopefully, some big largemouth again. And then to end the year on a super up at the St. Lawrence out of Messina. So that one. That one, I'm mean, very, it gives me chills right now. I have goosebumps. I don't know if you guys can see, I have goosebumps saying that. Because St. Lawrence is one of the best fisheries for smallmouth in the world, hands down, one of my favorite places to fish. So, can't wait to get up there. Can't wait to, you know, get after it next season. Um, I'm kind of toying with the idea of joining a Bassmaster Open uh, down in Florida in January if they have one, if I can get into it. But again, that's kind of preliminary, obviously, kind of as we go. But, um, for right now, I still will be fishing the BFL Northeast as a co-angler next season, no matter what, even if I had a big boat or not, um, just for the experience alone of fishing new places. So can't wait to get back after it, and hopefully you guys can enjoy the ride, and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. So hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, leave a comment if you want, and you know, let me how let me know how I'm doing. So thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.